Okay, this sermon's entitled, Who is a False Convert? And the answer is, those that are trusting in themselves to save them, in any way, shape, or form. Okay, let me open up with prayer, and then with a few verses. All right, dear God, thank you for giving us your word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, the false convert out there is those that are looking to, they're looking, they're looking to themselves, or perhaps they're looking to, you know, to somebody else for their works, looking for fruit in their life. <clears throat> they're the false convert because salvation is not about what we do. It's about what Jesus did at the cross 2,000 years ago. So the false converts out there are those like Ray Comfort that would claim that people living in sin are false converts. But if that were true, then everyone, everyone would be a false convert because everybody sins. See, the problem is Ray Comfort's blind and other people like him, and they think that because they live a certain way that they're the real deal. When they fail to see that salvation has nothing to do with how we live, salvation is all about grace. For by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So, they don't understand that verse. And it's just a sad thing, because number one, a real false convert is somebody who's trusting in themselves, trusting in how they live, or they're repenting of their sins, or whatever it is. And that's not what the Bible teaches. That's not a real convert. See, when a person's trying to be saved, they're not, they're not a real convert. And when a person talks about how you live and all this stuff, they're not a convert. Because a convert is somebody, a real saved person, is somebody who God has saved, and God does a perfect job saving, and you don't have to worry about your salvation. And the Bible says in Psalm 19, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So God's word is, is perfect. It, it, it can't go wrong with this. Converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So a real false convert is not somebody who's living in sin. It's not somebody who's backslidden or, or anything like that. The real false convert are these self-righteous, self-righteous, legalistic works people who did not just simply believe on Christ to save them. They're the, the, ones, that, they're the ones that are the false converts. Now, they want to try to say, you know, pe you know, people that live in sin are false converts. And what's really sad is, is um, they don't even see their own sinfulness. They don't even see their own pride. You know, and if, if if what they believe is true, then they wouldn't be going to heaven either, because for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. They 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 fail to see the word all. It's talking about them too. So a real false convert is one that has not trusted on Christ alone, and they're trusting in something else. And to them, salvation's a process, or to them, you can lose it, or you can prove you never had it, or something like that. A false convert, somebody who's believed in a wrong Christ, the false Christ. Calvinism, Arminianism, Lordship, repent of your sins, any of that works-based garbage. They're the false converts. True converts are those that have trusted in Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross for their sins, he was buried and rose again, and then eternal life was a gift. You can't lose it. It's eternal security, eternal life. And once you're saved, you're always saved. And it's just simply by faith alone in Christ alone. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. If you've believed on Jesus Christ, you're a true convert, you're saved, you're going to heaven, you have eternal life, you're eternally secure, and the false converts are the ones that are not trusting in that. They call it easy believism, and they call it cheap grace, but they're, what they believe is works, and they believe they got to prove it by how they live, and then if you're truly saved, God will do a transforming work in, on your life and all this. They're the false converts, period because they have not trusted in what Jesus Christ has already done for them. It's already paid for in full. So the false converts are not those that are fallen away or backslidden. It's, it's those that are self-righteous, full of pride, and, they, and they're trusting in themselves to be saved. They're the false converts, because it's not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. You know, he saved us, Titus 3.5, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. So, the ones that are trying to make everyone feel like they're a false convert, chances are they're the false convert. And when Matthew 7, we have a verse that is talking to them, not to the sinners. Now, here's one way you can know that people like this, these lordship people, are false converts. Now, here's how you know this. 
they they would they think in their mind that if a person just goes on living in total sin, nonstop, whatever, no repentance, they think that person's not going to heaven. Well, see, they don't understand though. Wait a minute. If if Jesus paid for all their sin, why would that keep them out of heaven? Because they don't really believe that Jesus paid for all their sins. They don't believe that Jesus would die for all those sins. They don't believe that God's grace is enough. They don't believe that the blood covers all sins. So that just proves they don't really believe the gospel. So that's how you know they're the false converts. Ironically, it's not it's not the, the big time sinner. It's the self righteous that, that are the false converts. Now look at Matthew. 7 21 and 23 not everyone that saith unto me lord lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven the will is to believe on on jesus okay john 6 it talks about that okay many will say to me in that day lord lord have we not prophesied in thy name in other words they preached in in god's name you know and, and have cast out devils and in thy name name done many wonderful works so it's the people that were judging the others and calling them false converts and then, and then, and then saying you must repent and it's, th it's those people that are standing in front of God here. Well, didn't we live right? Didn't we repent of our sins? Didn't we make you the Lord of our life? Weren't we better than these other people? You know, weren't we better than this, this, the publican? So they're the ones that Jesus is going to say, I will never, I, I, depart from me, I never knew you. Okay? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So it's ironic how they love these verses. They want to condemn people with these verses when these verses condemn them and others like them. They're condemning the religious, the self righteous, the prideful, the gospel rejectors. You know, the lordship people are being condemned here. So that tells you who the real false converts are. And the funny thing is, is they, they these, these 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 false teachers out there. They take what I teach and say, well, I'm, you're just teaching a license to sin. And no, if you really believed what I believe, you'd have all the re you'd have every reason under the sun to worship God and to love God and to live right, because we are saved. You know, we are saved by grace. We're going to heaven, so therefore we should want to live right. We should want to serve God. But see, you don't have to, and it comes after you're saved. It doesn't come to prove. It doesn't prove a person's saved. To be honest with you, how a person lives is between them and God. But the ones that are trying to live a good life to be saved, they're the false convert. It's the other way around. You get saved first, and then you should live a good life because you're, you want to be blessed and because you want to please God as your heavenly Father. But it's not, you can't reverse it. If you reverse it, you got Matthew, you got these verses, Matthew 7, you know, 23. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta understand how, the order of things, you know? A false convert is somebody that's just trusting in themselves or adding to grace, and they're everywhere. A real convert is somebody who just, they know they're a sinner, you know, and they, they've come to Christ and they've believed on him. They, they've had faith alone in Christ alone. And they're the real, they're the real convert. They're the, they're the saved. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. So that's the real convert. It's the believer. The false convert is not a believer. He's just trusting in his works and his repentance, or he's added something to faith, which cancels it. So that tells you who the false convert is. It's not somebody who lives in big time sin, necessarily. It's somebody who's trusting in themselves, and they don't understand that anyone who believes on Christ is saved. And that's who the false convert is. Dear God, thank you for giving us your word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.